Two tonight, a survivor of a kidnapping and rape shared her story at Northern Michigan University tonight. TV6 senior reporter Jerry Tudor was there for the presentation, and he shares Elizabeth Smart's story and how she's now helping other survivors. Elizabeth Smart is a kidnapping survivor whose nine-month abduction garnered national news coverage. Smart was 14 when she was kidnapped from her house in June of 2002. She was kept chained, dressed in disguise, repeatedly raped, and told she and her family would be killed if she tried to escape. During the ordeal, Smart says it was her parents' love that helped her survive. I remember um, a memory coming to my mind, and it was my mom um, telling me how how much she loved me and that she would never, ever stop. My dad, he will always love me as well. Maybe nobody else will. Maybe it'll just be my parents. But that's okay. That's enough. That's worth surviving for. Now she's written two books, including her most recent, called Where There's Hope. In that book, Smart says it's important to find what makes you happy to get you through dark or tough times. And we're all survivors of something. So because bad things do happen, Make time to find the happiness in life. Make time to find like your peace or your joy so that when you're going through the darkness, you remember that happiness is real. After the presentation, Smart signed copies of her books for audience members. NMU's platform personalities hosted Smart's presentation. The president of that group says she hopes this story helps inspire others. Um, there is life after terrible things and that, you know, bad things happen to good people, but we can take those bad things and turn it around to make the most of it and still make something of our lives. Um, we're not defined by the things that happen to us. Rather, we are defined by the ways that we react to that and the ways that we move on. Smart continues to share her inspirational story nationwide. Jerry Tudor, TV6 News, Marquette.